It looks like loads of poos in like a swamp or something. Yo. So yes, in today's video, I have found some weird food combinations from around the internet and we are going to be sorting them into a good pile and a bad pile. Right, let's get straight into the trying of the weird combos. Okay, now the first weird combination is, um, it's reasonable, I guess, it's reasonable. It is Pringles with, with this bad boy, whipped cream, wait, whipped cream? No, spray cream. Okay, we've got the Pringle, now let's add some whipped cream. Spray cream, why do I keep saying that? Oh, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> why is it just asking to get off the Pringle already? I'll have to try one more real quick. I've loaded this one up a bit more, so let's see. I mean, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, but it just doesn't really have a, like, a real impact on my life, you know? So obviously you get the bit of cream taste, but at the end you get a bit of salt from the ready salted. That is just really odd. I think for me I'm gonna have to put that in the bad one, but um but I can see I can see it maybe some people liking it, but it's just it's not great, I'm not gonna lie, it's not great. Okay, we have got the cereal with orange juice. Like, surely no one likes this. Like, come on, man. It legit looks like green goo. Don't know why it's gone like that color. Like, bruh, I don't know. It looks like loads of poos in like a swamp or something. That looks like the sewers, bro. Like, green sewage and poos in there. Like, what? <laughs> I'm scared to try this, you know. I'm actually scared. Because it looks so gross. Oh, we're gonna have to just go. Let me smell it. I've got a bit of a cold, so I can't really smell it anyway, so. By the way, we are using the uh, si the Sidemen's best cereal, chocolate version. So, uh, let's, oh, this looks terrible, no. There's no way someone likes this. Oh my God, I'm actually scared. Right, let's just, do you know what, let's just do it. That is just, that is wrong. That is wrong, bro. No, no, it's honestly gross. Maybe I was meant to have like orange juice with like Weetabix or something. I have gone for a chocolate flavor, but nah, I'm not even gonna give that another go because I've literally just bat washed the cereal in there. That is disgusting. That is 100% going in the bad option. No way, do not try that, I promise you. Yeah, whoever actually came up with that idea of having orange juice with cereal and actually liked it as well, Yo, you need to get in the bin, my friend. Get in there now. Right, apples, yeah? We all love apples, don't we? We all love a little apple. Um, although this one does look diseased. Probably can't see, but that one does look like it's from the plague. You know, 1950, no, not 1950s. A lot longer than that, mate. But have you ever thought having an apple with a bit of pepper on it? Hmm? A bit of pepper? No, I know you haven't thought that, because who bloody would think that? Well, someone did think that, actually. Someone thought by putting pepper on an apple, it would taste nice. Well, they've said it does taste nice as well, apparently. So we're going to put that to the test now, and we're going to try an apple slice with some pepper shavings on them. Right, I didn't know how much to put, so I've sort of just drizzled it, sort of coated it in a bit of pepper, yeah? Right, here we go. Pepper apple, come on! Yo, no, Jesus Christ. I tell you what, this started good. It started really nice, but it basically started like the taste of apple, but the pepper was sort of intensify the taste a bit. You know, sometimes you had, you taste an apple, oh, that's nice. You have another apple, sometimes it's like, no, that's not sweet at all. You know, it goes a bit damp sometimes, a little damp apple. Well, this time that was sort of infusing it, you know, sort of bringing out the full apple in the apple. And it was decent until I got to the end. Now the end, that was weird. It was like spicy. I was getting some spicy aroma in my throat. Aroma? No. But I was getting some spicy feeling in my throat. Right, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put that in the medium section. So between good and bad, because the taste is good. I like the taste, it makes it nice. 
but it's that bit of spice at the end. It's not great, you know? We're gonna have to put that in the medium. Medium tier for the apple and pepper. I'm surprised it even got there, to be honest. But yeah, there we go. Let's move on to the next combo. Food combo. Mm. But for this next combo, we do need to recall OJ. Mr. OJ Simpson. No, 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 no. Mr. OJ Orange Juice because he's gonna feature in this one. You're gonna see what it is, you're gonna see. Where you are, fella, come with me. Right, okay, Jesus. Yes, this next one we are doing is Oreos dipped in the orange juice. What the freak? Now, to be fair, yeah, I can actually see this working. I can see this working because I remember back in, I don't know if any of you lot remember as well, but back in the primary days, you know, primary school, they would give you a little biscuit. You know, when there's a movie on or something, it's a little movie day, primary school, they give you a little bloody niece, a little niece or a little custard cream and a little, um, about two sips of an orange juice as well in a little cup. I just remember having a biscuit and then eat, drinking the orange juice as well and it's sort of like, you know, combining in my mouth. And it was not bad to be honest, but I was a child and I probably would have ate anything. Probably ate grass and stuff, didn't I? Right, here we go. Orange for the Oreo. Gonna get a good dunk there. Yeah, it's a good one actually. Get another one then. Right, now, that is not bad. It is not bad, um, but it's not really like worth, I think. Like, I'll just eat the Oreo on its own. If they did make Oreos, an orange version of Oreos, you know, so they obviously always make loads of orange stuff, orange chocolate and all that. If they did make an orange Oreos, which I'm surprised they haven't done yet, I, I assume that's how it would taste, because it does taste like orange chocolate a bit. Screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm gonna put that into the good tier. Good tier Oreo and orange. Now, don't you just hate it? When you go to get into your bed for a movie night, you grab all the snacks you need, in this case, popcorn. But when you go to look at your popcorn, you realize something's off. You make the very normal and simple mistake of covering all your popcorn in ketchup. Nah, but on a reel we do have ketchup on popcorn. Yeah, that sounds so nice. Popcorn is fine on its own. I love a bit of pop, but with a bit of ketchup on it, no. No, no, no. But we're gonna try it anyway, because yeah, why not? Right, let's just go for it. Come on, let's get a juicy bit, because I want to be serious with this video. I do want to be serious. There you go, bit of ketchup on it and a bit of pop. Right, I will add, this is salt and sweet and salty popcorn. So right, here we go. Oi. Oi, this is decent, you know. What the hell? I thought only the salty ones I would like, because the ketchup is obviously salty as well, and it'd go with it. But even the sweet ones, when I get a bit of ketchup on it, I'm thinking happy days. When I've got one with none on it, I'm thinking, oh no. Now, I probably wouldn't make this like a normal thing where whenever I have popcorn, I just dash loads of ketchup on it because people will think I am weird. Um, and it's not like, it's good, but like, I could easily just eat popcorn on his own, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to have bloody red blood. So, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> However, saying that, I will put the ketchup popcorn into the good tier. I will put it into the good tier, yeah. Right, time for my movie now. My movie and ketchup poppy. Right, next combo. This next one I'm pretty sure can't miss. I don't think it's gonna be bad and you'll see why now. Salted crisps and chocolates. Little tiny little whispers. But yes, on a reel, it is putting chocolate with a like a ready salted or lightly salted crisp and just eating it together. And do you know what? I just know this bangs. There's been so many times I've been eating lunch. I eat some crisps and have a bit of chocolate. Bang, it's in my mouth, infused. Oh, yes. There's the product. I'm gonna do this all in one. 
See how it works out. Here we go. Yes, that is so good. That is so good. Right, here we go. We've got the smaller bit now. Let's try this. That honestly does not miss. That just hits every time. It works. That is straight away going in the god tier. Not god tier, but the good tier. You know, it is an acceptable combo. Well done, crisps. And whisper. Right, this next one consists of these bad boys. Strawberries, right? Strawberries. And you're thinking, yeah, what can you do with strawberries, huh? What could you possibly do with strawberries, yeah? Put them in cream. Mm, possibility. Put them in maybe sugar. Oh, what about a bit of chocolate? A bit of covered chocolate strawberries. Yeah, whoever said that, yeah? <laughs> whoever said that, you got salt and strawberry. 